Today, I want to talk about the cross. I want you to understand that the cross is more than just a symbol that we use to represent a specific religion, in this case, Christianity. The cross is so much more. It originates as a, the most cruel device of execution ever devised by humankind. The cross was a very effective tool at killing its victims. It was a tool that would be used to humiliate them, to make a public display of them, and to create as much intensity as pain as possible in the punishment of the victim that was hung upon it. When you apply that to our lives today, the cross is incredibly significant for why we were created, what our purpose and existence means. One of the most significant ideas behind the cross is to answer the question, how can a perfect and holy God also be perfectly loving? If He's holy and He's just, He must punish sin. But if He loves us and all of us are sinners, shouldn't we deserve punishment? So the cross becomes the tool through which God accomplishes both things. At the cross, He punishes your sin and my sin. All those things we've done wrong, all those wrong thoughts, all those wrong words, all the deeds that we've done in our life or will ever do. It gets poured out on Jesus at the cross. And yet Jesus is also God in the flesh. And so, by hanging on the cross as punishment for you and for me, that's how God's great love is displayed. He loves us so much that He died for us. So in this sense, the cross becomes the pivotal, not only event in history, but the tool that God uses to show both His justice and His grace, His love and His mercy. When applied to our lives today, for those who embrace Jesus as our Savior and Lord, we are, as the Bible says, crucified with Christ. Therefore, it's not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So daily, my life is nailed to the cross, and the life I live out is to be lived in such a way that it points totally and completely to Jesus. In essence, He's living life through me. That becomes my significance for living. And even when I face difficult trials and struggles, knowing that my Savior paid the ultimate price on that cross for my sin, and that my sin and my wrong thoughts, deeds, actions, and everything that comes with that is nailed to the cross, I've died to myself, and now I'm alive to Jesus. This is what the cross means. This is why the cross is so significant to me and to all who would believe in Jesus as Savior and Lord. The only question remaining is how do you view the cross? Have you come to a place in your life when you've recognized something is missing, there's an empty void left in your life that needs to be filled with something, but you can't seem to find that something and what it is? I'm here to tell you today, Jesus is that something. Yes, Jesus was nailed to the cross. Yes, Jesus died on that cross. But Jesus was much more than a martyr. After being buried following his death, three days later, he rose from the dead in victory, resurrection. That completes the circle of the cross. Not only is the cross used to remove our sin, but, and the ultimate penalty of sin being death, but Jesus defeats death in the power of resurrection. So at the end of the day, you can't have the cross without the resurrection. When both of those things are applied in our lives, now we understand the significance of the cross. God bless you. Have a great day.